Hello, hello, hello everyone, NecroVMX here, AB Agent J, also here, and hello. we're playing Amori. Or it sounds like I have a cold or something, it's just post-nasal drip, it'll go away. If I sound like I have a cold or something, it's allergies. It's, uh, ohm light bulbry. <laughs> All right. I think we were actually like just about to finish up this. Yeah, we part. were like kind of walking our way out of here, but I wanted to see about like this person has a icon here. Well, person, it's a sprout mole. Psst. Hey kids, I couldn't help but over here. That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps? Is it the ring? Because um, you keep it. They have like a quest to get something for Pessy. Yeah. Something precious. I dropped my precious. It's like, dude, I don't want it if it's that, okay? You keep it. You, t you turn into Gollum. Uh, I might be able to help you with that. Hmm, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? <clears throat> As you may already know, we sprout moles are very intelligent and high-functioning creatures. The smartest of us all, the mayor, is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than what was previously possible. Is it a whip? <laughs> Where there's a whip, there's a way. A fable device of legend that when complete will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the B.E.D. The B.E.D.? What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Get me a B.E.D. first and then we'll talk. A B.E.D., huh? That sounds simple enough. Wait, Cal, I don't know. He seems awfully... Untrustworthy. Maybe we should just give him a BED and see what happens. If you think so, hero. But something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Alright. Alright. I'm saying to go back to bed. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, stop talking. Um, I don't know what a BED is, but... Me neither. I mean, I know what a bed is, but that was clearly an acronym. Let's go look around and see if there's anything else that wants my attention before I leave the sprout. Why did it get louder? That's what I was just thinking. It was like, whoa. Damn. I just come into this area and it's like, volume up. It's yeah, turning it down on this actual stream on my end. Yeah, so I, I turned it down on my end as well. Maybe it is an actual bed. I mean, it could be, and this guy's just a dumbass. Yeah. I mean, all the sprout moles do seem to be dumbasses. To varying degree, right? Like, yeah. some of them are, are uh, functional dumbasses, and some of them I'm like, how do you remember to breathe both in and out without flashcards? <laughs> this guy's on a actual bed. A sprout mole sleeping on a BED. Okay, so it is a bed. If only you had something that could wake him up. Okay, so this is a fetch quest and a half. I would need something that could wake that guy up so I can get his bed, and then bring it to the other guy to get Pessy's uh, one ring or whatever. Yeah. I'll see my one ring. <laughs> and then you just spread the cheeks. Yeah. Because it's just louder down there. Alright, hold on. Let me... Yeah. That's the person. That's Pessy, but I want to just see if he says anything different. I see you for it, since you're undoubtedly lesser. Yeah, it's the same thing. All right, you'll know it when you see it. All right. I get it. you can't do her laugh. <laughs> oh god! Oh. Like TV tropes, they call it the Ojo laugh because Ojo Makes is sense. like a derisive word for princess. I had been down there so long that I don't remember where I am in relation to anything else. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. Maybe. I remember going through this forest, though, and with the spiders and all that shit. Because Almori conquered his fear of spiders, little hero did. <laughs> yeah, like, we don't, we don't care before. about you, hero. Can I use this? Is this possible? A station for Pluto's space line. Do you want to wait here for Pluto? Who wouldn't? I saw this thing that was like, um, Pluto hasn't 
completed a full revolution around the sun since its discovery. And uh, then somebody else says, well, I wouldn't finish my job if I was fired either. Yeah, I saw that. Is anyone else? Is everyone strapped in? Wait, hold on. I'm not ready yet. I'll play Mario Kart. <laughs> Wahoo! Greetings and welcome to Pluto Space Line. Where will the journey take you? I guess... Oh, I would have thought that one of the options would be just the main area, huh? I think Otherworld is the main area. No, Otherworld's where um, Space Boyfriend was. Maybe just... Vast Forest? Because Otherworld's where you climbed up the really, really long ladder. Oh, yeah. Yeet! Oh, this, yeah, this is near Basil's house. Okay, that works. I gotta wa water the flowers. I might as well. I mean, I couldn't before. I guess that's only a New Game Plus thing. Oh, look, they're all fucked up. Still do it, though. Yeah. It's one of the ways to get the best ending, though. Well, from what you told me and what I looked up online, it's basically just an end credits scene. Yeah. Nobody's dark soul will be filled with light. Yeah. I was thinking about like um I think I told you that like in Mega Man X4 there's a there's a moment like that. And uh Alice made reference to it not too long ago. Like, what am I fighting for? <laughs> <You know? laughs> I'm like, oh I can't wait to play that game. It, it'll be on the second playthrough because it's Zero's story. But, man, the voice acting is so cheesy. In the best possible way. Fun when that happens. Yeah. You know, like, full, like, Resident Evil 1 voice acting, you know? <laughs> it seems to be a Capcom thing, right? It Resident does. Evil, Devil May Cry, Mega Man it's X. Actually, a review of the original Resident Evil that got me saying voice actors are paid money and not sandwiches. <laughs> That's like I did that review ages ago, that movie Blackenstein, which, by the way, one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And um, my comment on the budget was that it was five dollars and a and a can of soda. <laughs> uh, I mean, are these the ones that are no? I think a flower, yeah, the, but the, cacti yeah. are fine. Yeah, the cacti are... It's like a flower, question mark? I mean, cacti, is, cacti does flower, but... Yeah, the cactuses don't need a lot of care. Yeah. They take care of them. Like, if you are a person who has a house cactus and it dies, you have failed on every level. <laughs> you really have, because it's like... How do you let a cactus die? Succulents are the place for people who can't take care of plants. Yeah. I feel like dumbass would would have a cactus that would die. Meanwhile, when I was in the Final Fantasy house, I was put in charge of an African violet. Those are very delicate. Yeah, those take a lot of care, don't they? They do. I actually managed to get it thriving. It was dying when I got there, and they were just like, try to take care of this. I don't know why. They just put it in my room to so take care of this, so I did. It was flourishing when I left, so. Eternal banana. Yeah. <laughs> Potassium. <laughs> Alright, I don't actually know what I should be doing now, though. God, Maybe just. Like usually just now. talk to hers. <laughs> it, this game's great, but usually in that, and I'm like, now I want to play Delta Room. I mean, it, it's tough to. to top Delta Room. All right, talking to her did not help. Um, you know, I'm starting to think that maybe I might not be done in the Sprout Mall area. Because they never readdressed the fact that we were looking for Basil. Yeah. You know? So that was yeah. kind of the bookend when Yeah. And it's it's sort of like when I went to Overworld and I, you know, came back and it was like, no, there was still something to do with Overworld. Otherworld, rather. Yeah. 
So I'm going to go back to... Uh... Well, I guess that was Pyrefly Forest, wasn't it? Yeah. I still wonder why Pluto was so jacked. They've been flexing. He does... This does look like the right place. He does look yeah. like... He looks like one of those Chowaniki mascots. Yeah. Let's say that there was like this old mascot when I was a kid. Uh, oh, I remember now it was the McDonald's the whole Mac Tonight thing. Oh, God. It used to freak me out. Yeah, I remember you telling me that Mac Tonight freaked you the fuck out. <laughs> She's not saying anything different here. I don't know why. Oh, weird because all these like little things freak me out, but then I watch like, more, like hardcore yeah. horror movies. Yeah. Wow, what an explosive finale. Isn't Sweetheart just the greatest? No, she sucks. A table full of merchandise of an obnoxious looking person. I mean, she took off with her husband, so presumably you'll never see yeah. her again. Did you deliver the package? There's a year's worth of tofu in there. I'm sure he'll love it. I oh, man, I miss that guy. I hate Mondays. We sprout moles do not d dare leave the colony ever since the great move. It was a hard time. Many of us didn't make it. Sprout moles are getting lost left and right. Children were separated from their families. Oh, the horror. I mean, at least it's all okay now, for the most part. By the way, it's Sunday. Um, also, you see sprout moles on the surface all the time. Maybe those are the ones that got lost. I'm just thinking that... Oh, the whole thing's reference to Watership Down. The whole speech. We are two, we are one, we are twan? I have no idea what to do here. I respect your decision, yeah. I like that. Could you maybe look into what you're supposed to do after the finale? Yeah. Oh, I meant to say no, shit. Help us first like this, right? Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, I'm all right. We got three. We're in three days left, so yeah. it's a three world section. Did that. Did that. Yeah, it'll be after the right after the sweetheart battle. Yeah, after the sweetheart battle. I don't it's imagine there's anything to do here. Oh, damn. You. Thank you. Ooh. There's full sweetheart stuff. Yeah, that seems like the beginning of this problem. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, a still palace. Oh, it was outside, but no, it was still garden. There's just Okay, there's the battle. Tying up loose ends, okay, that's talking about the side missions. She lost me beside him, but I'll be honest to find out. Walk to the floor Mario's on if he's got the quest for the bed. It's what what did you say, what? So he got the quest to get the bed. Yeah. Okay. I did that. So. The mayor is on the third level, so go down one level and then go to the right and then down again. From where you got the quest. Wait. I didn't understand a word you just said. So, from where you first got the quest from the mole that wants the bed, uh -huh. it tells you to go down one more level and then go right and then go down. What? But how does that help me? Because that will take you to where you need to get the bed. Oh, I wasn't even trying to do that. I was trying to do the main thing, though. Okay, I think this is the guy that wanted the bed. So you said down, right, down? Because I saw the bed. I need to think something to wake the dude up, though. Yeah, it says in the scene where Sweetheart got married. Uh-huh. If you don't want to do all the side quests. Uh, there should be a hole that they make that you jump in. Oh, I, you know, I tried to activate that hole last week, and it didn't, or yesterday, I should say, and it didn't work. But but what does it say about the bed? Because the guy's sleeping, and it says, if only you had something to wake him up. 
that you'll find another one on the other side of the third level of uh, my basketball hoop. If you, okay, you find this guy and he'll give you a big air horn. Oh, where's that? Okay, so... First you gotta talk to the mayor, I guess, which is that thing with... Oh god, I hate this walkthrough. Um, Don't you hate it when they're written a bit poorly? I'm pretty sure the mayor is down here. He's the dude with, like, a lot of sprouts. Like, Thanks. that guy there that's walking back and forth, I think, is the mayor. No, that's Beautiful Mole. Never mind. Okay. Shit. I... So let's go get to him. He's on the third level. If that's the way it's I don't... I, okay. See, here's the thing. Third level is, like, third from the top, third from the bottom, like... They are trying to guide you there from where you first get the quest for this. Well, that's the guy who, this is where okay, I get the quest. Get the Shady Mole. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, so it says go down just one more level, so go down that ladder. Uh-huh. Okay, when you're down there, it says go right, uh -huh. and then you go down again. Yeah, I did this already, though. Let's see. Okay. That's now I'm here. The mayor. Is the, oh, this is the mayor? Oh, it is. Blast! Where in the world is my good-for-nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the BED, and I'm longing to hear the results. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Waxer baiting? <laughs> what the fuck is that? So, oh, it's an you... enemy. Yeah, that's, they're just saying that. I should try to cut that wire, then it's a small fight. I was about to say that. Okay, well... Roots and King Carnivore. Alright, I guess we fighting this guy, huh? Guess so. I mean, at least everything's full, so... Yeah. That big Alright, here we go. Um, like it. it doesn't even say it's a super boss or anything, so... Especially since this has nothing to do with the quest. Well, we're doing it, because I... I'm in it already, so... Yeah. Now you're in it to win it. God, I haven't heard that in years. Ow, the damage. Holy shit. All right. Roots. Oh, he's absorbing nutrients from the roots. Okay. How much health do these roots have? All right. Um. Uh, this walkthrough doesn't even have like any comments on how to beat him. So. Um. You just you shoot him till he dies, like the cyber yeah. demon. Used rap. Rapidy rap, rapidy rap. I hate moves that make it so you can't switch out. And Pokemon. Yeah. Her abilities, because oftentimes you'll run into something in like. Shadow tag or whatever. Yeah, or arena track. Right in the tank. Let's see, like, the Flygon line has that arena trap. So you run into its oh, first evolution. Made everybody like happy. Got the name of. Trappage. Oh, yeah, that's it. Because you run into them in the wild, and then they got arena traps, so you got no choice but to kick them in the butt. Usually Flygon has levitate, though. Yeah, I'll say about like running into wild trap in the desert. Oh, Mori looks kind of disturbing when he's happy. He's smirking. <laughs> like, it reeks up. This is not his natural <laughs> yeah. know, facial expression. Oh, happy reduces your accuracy, doesn't it? Yeah, and oh, defense. now they're now they're ecstatic. Presumably, that's gonna like. Make their attacks even higher, but they're... But they'll miss, yeah. Lower. 
right in the tank. Okay, That's illegal. Nice. Right in the tank. The right, plant tank. Like, hit right in the heart for right, you know, like right yeah. in the tank. Right in the tank. Just use sweet smell. Man, look at Omori now. Yeah, he's deranged. This is manic. Oh, he's not even ecstatic, he's manic. I didn't notice that. Yeah. I think Omori needs some help, because he's, like, dribbling in. Oh, just in general. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I wonder if anyone else could be manic or if they only did that for him. Probably only for him. Uh. Headbutt is still funny. King Carnivore feels uncomfortable. Yeah. I shared the joke from my Discord uh. message and it was like the reaction of a person on Tumblr. Oof. That's actually where I got it. Somebody posted on Tumblr. Tumblr, are you saying you gingerbread this bit? And the yeah. response to it was, this post made me realize my own, oh, my own mortality. <laughs> like I read this and thought, oh my god, I'm going to die right <laughs> there. Oh, that missed. How do you miss that? Yeah. Oh, come on, attack again. There we go, right in the tank. <laughs> He's done. A lot of experience points, a lot of clams, jam packets. Amori's level 28, Aubrey's level 28, learn beat down. Kel's level 27, Hero's level 28, and learn mesmerize. Alright, so Aubrey and Hero have new. Those sound like Aubrey they might be like. Upgraded version to skills you're already using. Let's see. Beat down attacks a foe three times. I think for her, I'm gonna take off power hit and put beat down there. And then for Kel, let's see. It goes hero or mesmer. Oh, it was hero. Okay. Sounds like it's in the same line as like Captivate and stuff. Axe first, all foes target. Oh, it's another taunt. Yeah. But he takes less damage too. But I still, I don't like taunts. Orange juice. Nice. Combo meal. Life jam. Come on and share this jam with me. Alright, let me just. At the very least, uh, that's not where I want to be. Do a little bit of healing here. Apparently, if you cut that wire, you could have avoided that boss fight, but oh well. That's no fun. Yeah. I mean, we got a lot of experience from it. But I, I, I thought the guy's son was down there. We gotta look for the guy's son that was in the bed. Yeah. But well, you'll find another mole on the other side of this level. The, uh, over here, you mean? I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Oh, here's he's got dots on it. Maybe he gives me the uh, air horn. Oh, this training's made me hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. I have it. Sweaty sport mole. Oh, thank you for the tofu. I really needed that. In return, here's my most prized possession. Please take good care of it. A big air horn. All right, that's what we need. I gotta see the description of it, though. For waking up a sleepy sprout mole. Specifically for that. And for nothing yes. else. 
Use big airhorn on air horn on the sleepy mole. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Who are you? Oh no, I'm late. Could it be that I? No. I must have overslept. But sprout moles don't oversleep. This bed. It's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell Dad about this. Oh, and he's out. All right. He's just gone. All right. So guys, go back to the mayor. Well, I guess back to the mayor because he didn't give me the bed. All right. Uh, is the mayor down here? Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Okay. Dad, Dad, I'm here. Wait, how did you leave before me to come here after me? Did you stop at the vending machine for tofu? Probably. By the gods, son, where have you been? I... I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can tell me anything. Last night, while I was testing the BED, I... 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 I overslept. No. It can't be. If what you said is true, then... All my research, this invention, the, the BED... It's all... Too powerful. <laughs> You see, my theory was that a BED would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day, but what good is it if the very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? The BED has the potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I am become bed, destroyer of naps. I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again. Hey, you there. Child. Take this BED away from us. We have no need for such power. Actual Japanese corporation. Talk. Yeah, pretty much, right? You got a bed. Now be gone and speak not of what you saw here today. Alright, I gotta look at the description because I want to know if it actually stands for something. Obviously it's a bed. But I want to know if BED stands for anything. A.K.A. the Better Exhaustion Destroyer. That's fantastic. <laughs> Alright. Now the guy wanted that. In the not so loud area. Look at that, there's like a face right to the left of Amori, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I noticed you that earlier that. and I'm like, hmm. I wonder if you're, that's supposed to be a face or I'm just, you know, seeing faces. Because, you know, one of the most common um, things that people will see in, you know, stuff that's patterns or not patterns, just random things, you'll see, you'll see faces. Yeah, it's called pareidolia. Oh, there you go. There's even a word for it. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a BED. A real, genuine, bona fide BED. I'm going to use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you, so you should help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all this attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a big pink bow dragging... Through uh, digging through all poor old Pessy's pockets. A sprout mole with a pink bow? That sounds like Rosa. And, and a whole bunch of others. Yeah. The menace Rosa's at it again. Come on, Amori, we gotta make our hand over Pessy's thing. No matter what. Oh, now where, where is she? Does it say where she is? Because she just seems to appear randomly. So she's on the third level to the left inside of one of the rooms. <laughs> Once again, I have no idea if third level is third level from the top or bottom. I think it's the same level that the mayor was on, because they kept saying okay. third level there. Okay, that makes sense then. So, around here. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's further down. There she there is. Because she, she just pops up randomly. Yeah. Rosa, the jig is up. Why are you here? I'm angry. Go away. Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart, ran away with that blasted Captain Space Boy. Again. Ugh. Sweetheart was only a few doors away. But now she's flown galaxies away. You can climb up a ladder. She's right there. How will I follow her now? Do I look like I can fly to you? I... I don't know if that was really our fault. 
Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing. Now give it back. This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so it's Finder's Keepers. This is why I made sure to heal, because I have a feeling we might fight her again. Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Oh, oh, Hero's going to sweet talk her. Hey. He's doing the Miles Morales thing. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Rosa. Why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew! No, I don't want to hear it. There is no way that I'm giving you the most valuable new addition in my collection. Now get out of my house. Sorry, Hero. I'm fairly sure that she's gay and wants sweetheart. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe she's just not into human, man. Okay, so next you're supposed to go back to the Shady Mall. Oh, I was gonna switch to Aubrey and see if I can clock her. All right. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's a natural reaction. Yeah. See, like, like maybe if I hit her a few times with the bat, you know, that might, that might uh, convince her to yeah. relieve herself of the stolen property. <laughs> Rose is being difficult again, huh? Figures she's always been like that. This is a hell of a fetch quest. Here, take this and show it to her. There's no way she'll refuse you after seeing this. You got blackmail. Now leave me and my BED alone. Our business is done here. It'd be amazing if it's literally male that's black. The Contains details of Rose's dark past. Well, Shady Mole, he's also he's got something taped onto the side of him. Yeah, he does. What is that? Let me go back. See if we can figure it out. It's like a knife or something. It's definitely a knife, yeah. Who's taping the weapons onto the crumbles? I thought Sweetheart, but maybe not. I mean, Pessy looks like he has arms. Maybe he did it. I think it's just the cosplay. Yeah. It was just flapping, you know? Back again? <laughs> you amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. Hey, have plenty of fruit. <laughs> Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, <laughs> Kel. It's true that Rose is a real pain, but I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to... Hey, Rosa! Check this out! <laughs> Kel's not subtle at all. Like, I love when, when Sweetheart was marrying herself and he's just laughing. Like, it's so lame! And I'm like, I don't know, Kel, I'm with you. I, it is lame. Kel pulled out the blackmail. Where, where did you get that? Dark Web. I've, I've changed my mind. There would be a Dark Web in this world, but it would be literally a spider web that's darker than average. Yeah. Please, kind sir. I'll give up anything you want. Just politely hand over that blackmail at once. Ah, yes. You wanted Pessy's thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it. It's yours. Now give me that blackmail. Hurry up and do it. You traded blackmail for Pessy's thing. Now let's find out what the heck that thing is. <laughs> she burns it. <laughs> it also, it was black. I'm going to need you to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? Now scram. Scram, I say. We gotta end the video, but I need you're right, we need to say it. Here it is. Should we be looking at this? It appears to be an autograph picture. Yeah. Alright, well we're gonna stop right here. I'll see you guys real soon with more of Omori. See ya.